Hello and welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the Microsoft Word Dictate. Yes. If you are looking for the easiest, fastest, and most cost-efficient way to write, edit, publish, and turn your book into an audiobook, then you have arrived at the right time and this is the right channel. I give you just the facts and let's jump right in. This is pretty exciting. Here now you don't even have to use your keyboard. You don't even have to type your novel. You can just dictate it. Over here to your right you will see dictate voice and then you will just click into the dictate you will see your microphone loading and now your cursor where you want to start your text and then just start talking. This is the easiest way that I found how to create a novel. Not have to be at a desk. You can be relaxing and just talking into your mic. This is the Microsoft Dictate. Here you can see this gadget. You can enable auto punctuation, filter sensitive phrases, and what is your spoken language choose your own language. Isn't that great? You don't even have to worry about doing any conversion or anything. And here is the circle with the question mark. When you click into the circle with the question mark, you will see the help box come up. Here you will be see you will see all of the commands in which I am going to demonstrate for you right now. Just going to click my microphone back on. Listening. Period. Full stop. Here is a sentence. Period. Here is a sentence. Comma. Is this a sentence? Question mark. Isn't that amazing? Can you imagine how much time you will save in your editing for when you are just writing your book to use all of your punctuation at the same time? And also, it will check your spelling. Exclamation mark. New line. You can use a colon. 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 You can use a semicolon. Go down to a new line, new line, go down to a new line, apostrophe. When you are talking, you can use the open quote and the close quotes. A hyphen, a ellipsis, begin and open a single quote, end or close a single quote.
left open bracket, right close bracket. Do you see how this can be very helpful to you when you are writing your novel? You don't even have to use the keyboard. Here you can also undo your last typing, undo, 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 delete. If you use the asterisk, you can do the delete that and also You can delete the last 100 words. Delete last. You can delete word. Delete word. Delete phrase. Insert a space. When you make an error, which is a lot harder to do when you are dictating, you can make more errors using the keyboard. Backspace. Backspace. Backspace, backspace, backspace. And here you can read the tips. And here is your formatting. You can use a bold simply by highlighting your words and saying bold. There. You can also use italics. Italics. This will help you when you are writing your novel. You can also use underline. Underline. Superscript. Subscript. Decrease indent. And if you use this command, this will clear all formatting. Align left. At any time, you can use this undo button. This will undo everything that you have done. You can start a list.
you can start list you you can easily start a list Number one, start numbered list. Next line, exit list. Here's a couple of tips that you can read. You can show help at any time. And I can't say these because then it will do this. And here you can see you can use any symbols such as asterisk, backlash, forward slash. Backslash, forward slash, backslash. Vertical bar, vertical bar, sign, pipe, character. Back quote or back tick, underscore, M hyphen down, a line left, a line center, a line right. Paragraph sign or mark. Appersand and sign. And uh, you can go through all of these. Any one that you choose, you can add in. Also mathematics, your percent sign your number sign, your plus sign, your minus sign, your multiplication sign, plus or minus sign, division sign, equal sign. Currency, the dollar sign, the pound sterling sign, euro sign, yen sign. And phrases. Smiley face. Frown, frowny face. Winky face. Heart emoji. And here are some suggestions. So I hope this will be helpful to you when you are writing your novel because this will give you an opportunity to be able to see what you are thinking without using your keyboard and also easier for you to get into the zone of writing allowing you to have more freedom to dictate anywhere, anytime, and any place using the Word app. Give me a comment. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. But are you excited? Are you excited about being able to write your novel without having to type it, without having to worry about your grammar, without having to worry about your spelling and just be able to use your voice and the dictate to create. This is video three of the You Are The Creators series. And when you use Word 
whether you are using the uh, the Office 365, whether you have paid for it annually, which is $109, or if you are paying for it monthly, which is around $11 a month. It is totally worth your money and worth your time, especially when you are writing your first novel. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for being part of my channel. If you have any questions at all, then just leave them in the comments. I will answer them. Until then, stay safe and have a wonderful evening.